Hi guys and welcome to another video from Lawrence's Driving School and this is a real driving test and we're just going to have a little talk through and see how things went. So here the candidate has just come out of the test centre and is about to start their driving test and straight down Orion way we go and heading for the corner. Now there is a sat nav up so the examiner has uh, bought out the sat nav for the candidate to follow during the driving test but on that bend the sat nav normally says turn right but it's not a turning it's a it's just a bend so no signal required the candidate's been asked to uh, pull over to the left and somewhere along Orion way there's quite normally a stop for some reason or another and then when you're ready just move off don't forget your blind spot check and signal if necessary, doesn't seem to be anyone behind. For the first roundabout, we're gonna go straight over, second exit, so just looking over to the right, it's all clear. Check your mirrors as we go across, left door mirror, left signal, and we're leaving the roundabout. Oh, and a red light straight away, so mirror check again. Oh, she's pulled into the left a little bit, the candidate. Probably needs to be a little more, a bit more over in that lane, I would guess. And up to the next roundabout where we will be going straight over, which is the left lane, and it's the third exit. And if you hear third exit, do not move over to the right hand lane thinking it's a right, because it is a straight over, and it is third exit. Third exits can be straight over. So a bit of advice on this roundabout, when you're pulling out, make sure there is no one coming in either lane, because even on the inside lane, they might be coming across to where that van's just gone. And at the next roundabout, we're going to be going straight over, which is the second exit. So on the approach, we just check in before we stop. I think there's a car coming around there. Excuse the skips. It's the camera keeps resetting when it thinks it's gone over a pothole or something. So we're going across the uh, roundabout there. Second exit, mirror checking and signaling. And now you need to know where you're going ASAP. Now the roundabout ahead, we're turning right, which is the fifth exit to the A14, the Midlands. And the candidate's done a lovely lane change there, mirror checking and signaling, and all the way up to the roundabout to uh, emerge on. Now this is a junction nine roundabout in Kettering, and it's quite a fast moving roundabout. So we wanna get the speed up and make progress around this roundabout. Now the thing is with this roundabout is that uh, sometimes vehicles tend to pull out as you're passing them. So you've really got to keep an eye on the mirrors on the exit here. So these two cars on the left could be pulling out now. As we're coming round, we're just checking our mirrors now. We're giving a left signal. We're moving over if it's safe to do so, but you can leave on either lane. There is two lanes here. And off we go. Uh, we've got a choice of lanes here, left or right. Left is best because you're, you're just joining in when your lane becomes the left lane and the candidate's chosen very cleverly there to stick to the left lane because there's no mirror signal manoeuvre required to come onto the dual carriageway now. And uh, off we go, try, try and do a minimum of 55 to 57, a minimum, and sometimes even that's too slow, but it's a reasonable speed. It could be quicker though, it is a 70 road. So uh, let's just make progress here. There's a lorry sitting in the middle lane. I don't think he's overtaking anyone. He shouldn't really be there. He should, or he could be overtaking the other lorry, I suppose. I, I think we'll forgive the, we'll forgive him that. We've got a bit of a race of the elephants going on here. <laughs> a lorry overtaking a lorry at one mile an hour faster. Uh, just coming onto an on ramp. So mirrors, just in case we need to move over. Everything's good, and a little bit of another skip there, and off we go. And hopefully the uh, white lorry in the middle lane will come back to the left because that's what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. 
So we'll be leaving on Junction 8, which is the next exit there. We've just passed the uh, sign for it. So uh, we're just waiting for the markers to come along. There's a 300 yard, 200 yard and 100 yard marker. The 300 yards are great time for mirror checking. Um, 200 yards, great time for signaling. And a 100 yards is a great reminder for you not to slow down to leave. Maintain your speed until you get into the slip road. When you're in the slip road, you can decelerate. Some people call this a deceleration lane. And we're going to the top where the roundabout is and we'll be turning left there. Just make sure when you come off a dual carriageway you check your uh, speedometer so you know how fast you're going. Um, it's quite a, a misleading thing really when you come off a, a dual carriageway your brain's in fast mode and you don't realise how fast you're going and a lot of people think they're going slower than they actually are. So just keep an eye on the speed as you're coming off a dual carriageway. We've got a green light there for us. Um, priority to go straight on and off we go up towards Broughton. Just make sure you, you keep up with the speed limits along this road. Um, when it's a 50, it's a 50. Uh, I have had a foul here before with someone doing 37 along this little stretch and they fouled for it. So uh, just keep up to speed, do a reasonable speed um, for the road that you're traveling on. Okay, so as Broughton comes up, we don't want to slow down too much for this slip road. We can see the green sign and just checking our mirror, see how far the guy is behind. And then we're just coming into the slip road, maintaining our speed and maybe decelerating, another skip there, and maybe decelerating here um, as we're coming up to the bend. And another test stop to test the uh, candidates parking skills and uh, to make sure they move off correctly and safely when you're ready just move on so mirror blind spot check and off we go through Broughton village lovely hold back there Another learner doing a right stop and reverse manoeuvre. Don't think that was a test. Just a, a pupil, a student on a lesson. So moving through Broughton, it can be quite um, stop starty through Broughton. There's a lot of meeting situations here. So just keep an eye on those mirrors because in case you've got to stop. Here comes the car. If you don't know, don't go. That's the poem. Uh, if you're in doubt, do not. So if you're not sure whether you're going to fit through a gap safely and easily, um, you're probably best off to hold back. But um, don't take any chances. You know, if you're not sure, that means hold back. There's no doubt about it. It's either hold back or don't hold back. There's no in between. We're going to be taking the next road on the right, and this is this is the Loddington route.
and uh, just up this road the candidate is asked to pull up on the right um, avoiding the well they will know to avoid the zigzag lines the candidate because they've been trained well by me move up to the car as uh, leave about one to two maybe one and a half car lengths this is an angled start so just to test the uh, candidate in moving around a parked vehicle don't forget to look on for oncoming traffic check your blind spot as well and always signal because we don't know what's in front of these parked cars and off we go So this route's always a little bit um, rural, I think we'll call it. Um, the roads do change. This is quite a nice part of it because, you know, there's a line in, in the middle and it's quite a wide road, but it does become a little bit windy, this road, a little bit rural and country laney. We've got to be careful of that. We've got to be careful of the bends that we handle them correctly. Just coming into Cransley, a little village there in Northamptonshire crossroads so mirror check and just be wary and make sure that no one's cutting across no nope, everything looks good and uh, weaving our way through the village looking for oncoming cars being prepared to pull up and hold back if necessary and looks like it's been raining here doesn't it with a with a wet road or another stop okay just stopping on the side of the road Thank you very much and move on when you're ready please. So mirror, mirror and if it's all safe off we go. No, no signal required if, if no one's around to benefit. So hopefully by the looks of it there was no one around to benefit so hopefully the candidate didn't signal just to prove to the examiner that they know what they're doing. And uh, back into the country lanes in a moment. I presume this is a Thursday. I can't really see very well when I'm doing the voiceover because the the uh, screen goes dim. Got an oncoming car. Well, it's parked car, I should say. Oh, it's a police car. Something going off there, maybe. Or maybe he's home for his tea, who knows. And uh, just coming into a national speed limit, which we all know in the country lanes is 60 miles an hour on a single track road. Oh, little skip again. Must be a bump down here somewhere. And uh, as you can see, the road's got quite narrow now. We've still got the white line coming and going here. Um, if you meet oncoming vehicles on a road like this, try not to keep braking. You might, you know, you might have to brake. But um, if you could just slow down a bit, that would be good. And then just maybe move over slightly, keeping an eye out for potholes and debris on the left. Um, it's not good to keep braking every time a car comes past, especially if it's uh, if it is wide enough for two cars without too much trouble. Just uh, keeping on the mirrors, no one behind us, so we're not being harassed or hurried. So that's nice on the driving test. And yeah, it looks like the candidate just carried on there, even though we met a vehicle. I don't think the candidate broke or slowed down too much. and uh, here we are so Loddington coming up here when we get to the end of this road I believe we'll be turning right if we ever get there with the skip in that is oh it's a car behind us now so just keep an eye on them if they do try and overtake on um, we'll always allow that we'll always come off the gas and allow them to overtake safely um, I think the candidate seems to be traveling at a reasonable speed though along this road I don't think there's any reason to overtake a reasonably speed vehicle if you know what I mean so we're coming up to the end we're going to turn right so we're doing our mirrors we're doing our signal we're coming up to the line very good check there be a hundred percent and is it are we waiting for someone sounds like looks like we're waiting for someone oh there we go <laughs> and 
Oh, someone else, that's always the way. Anyone else? Oh, another one. Never think there'd be so many cars in the middle of nowhere, would you? And off we go, turning right, and we're just leaving Loddington now. The car behind's gone the other way. And these roads uh, just remain rural. You know, a lot of driving tests these days do go along rural lanes and roads because the fatality rate on these roads is quite high. They're not necessarily painfully difficult to drive along, but um, yeah, the fatality rate is quite high. So a couple of years ago, the DBSA decided to make more tests go through um, more rural road areas. And this test is very much a rural test as we can see. And as, as you can see, the road is twisting and turning. Back up towards Kettering now. Now there's a bend coming up here and uh, this is a notoriously difficult bend for manual drivers because right now you could be in fourth or fifth gear um, but as we come up to this bend around this corner it's very steep and um, you will be required to change that gear. There's a warning sign there for a bend and it's just here, I believe this is the bend, where you do probably need to, to slow the car right down and drop that gear to second, um, because that is a steep hill, and I've had many a stall there when I was teaching the manuals. Um, so notoriously difficult bend for manual drivers, that one. Not for automatic drivers, I might add, because uh, obviously the gears are changed automatically, which is great. So. Over the bridge, over the top of the A14, going up to Gypsy Lane. When we get to Gypsy Lane, we'll be turning right.
Now, interestingly, along Gypsy Lane here, the uh, examiners often ask the candidates to park up on the right for the right reverse manoeuvre. And in this case, it looks like the candidate's been asked whilst on the move. When it's safe to do so, can you park up on the right, please? And uh, sometimes they park up and ask you to do it, but in this occasion, the candidate's not parked up and they're checking their mirrors, there's a car behind, they're signalling, they've targeted their stop, do not change your target, they're moving up to the tree, that's the candidate's target or thereabouts, and off they go, stop in with a signal on. Any cars within about 10 car lengths in front we would stop for, cars behind we don't need to stop for unless they're coming over to our side. Thank you very much for that stop. When you're ready, can you reverse back about two car lengths and then rejoin the traffic flow? So candidates into reverse, looks all around, moving backwards, checking over their right shoulder into the driveways because we don't want to be uh, interfering with anyone in behind us and their blind spots coming out the driveway. Come back about two car lengths. When would you say that was about there? Yeah, okay. Then also when uh, and just moving on and rejoining the left side of the road. Don't forget that mirror check on the left because you are now got a blind spot or sorry, I meant a blind spot on the left because um, you have got a blind spot on the left now and you're moving in that direction. So just make sure you check over your shoulder, your left shoulder in, out of that window and make sure there's no one passing you on the left because you won't see them in the mirrors uh, on that blind spot. Um, we're coming up to the end of Gypsy Lane. We're going to be turning right onto Northampton Road, I believe that's called. And this can be quite a busy right turn and you may be there for a while. But uh, if you're lucky, you can get away quickly and go up Northampton Road. Um, there is a filter lane to turn right into this road, so just be watching out for the left before you pull out. That seems to be the end of the... That seems to be the end of the um, sat-nav route because the examiner's just taken the sat-nav away. Don't normally see that through the test, but there you go. Normally they do that at the end. That uh, saves time, I expect. So uh, um, the candidate would be following, uh, probably followed Satnav maybe from the beginning of the test, who knows, forgot to ask them. Uh, and now they're following verbal instruction from the examiner. So at the roundabout ahead, we're gonna go straight over. And then at the next roundabout after that, which is junction eight, we'll be turning left, which is the first exit, into the A14 again. So the second time on the A14 during this test, that's not unusual. Coming over onto the slip road, don't forget to get to speed. We have to match the left lane of the dual carriageway. I'd always advise getting at 60 miles an hour if it's safe to do so and there's no one blocking you. Uh, 60 miles an hour can beat the lorries because the lorries are doing between 58, 57, 58 miles an hour normally on their restrictions, legally limited to 60. But we don't want to be caught up with any lorries when we're trying to um, get on over the slip road lines here. So mirror checking, mirror checking, signalling, ch checking out the window, and if it's safe, coming over the lines. You may need to slow down or speed up depending on what's, what you're meeting over those slip road lines. Um, but candidate's done a really good job here, really excellent, excellent drive so far. And off we go. 
the sign we've just gone under, the gantry sign, is telling us that this lane for Junction 9 and the candidate is leaving on Junction 9. Uh, somewhere along this route, the candidate's been asked or will be asked a show me question. Um, and I don't know if they've been asked that yet. It could be uh, open and close a side window. It could be show me how to wash the front windscreen or the rear windscreen. But uh, that's been asked somewhere along this route, not sure where. I didn't notice the front windscreen being washed or the rear windscreen, so I presume it wasn't those two questions. And there's a few other questions that they could be asked. So we've got an on-ramp here, check those mirrors, just in case we need to move over. It looks quite busy on the second lane there, so you'd probably be quite hard pressed to move over you may need to put a begging signal on or you could ease off the gas slightly and uh, we've just merged into um, a leaving slip road for junction 9 so we'll just come up here just before the roundabout we're going to be turning left into another slip road and that's a non-stop slip um, bypass by the way so we're just bypassing the roundabout here it's a non-stop road do not need to stop here lots of people kind of break right down thinking there's a giveaway or something there isn't just so just so you know I've got local knowledge of this and you come around here we give a mirror signal don't forget it's a 40 and uh, round the bend non-stop non-stop <laughs> some cars are really going slow here aren't they I think there might be a learner at the front think not sure of the road but I'm not 100%, I can't really see on my screen at the moment. But we're going down the road here, straight over the next three roundabouts. So one roundabout at a time. This roundabout, just be really mindful of this one. You have to really look early. You've got quite an open zone vision there. Lots, lots of open, um, it's an open roundabout, it's an open uh, junction. So you can see early on on the approach that there's no one coming, but you just got to keep an eye on it straight over the next two roundabouts back towards the test centre. So as we're coming up to turn right into the test center, just look out for oncoming traffic, try not to cross the uh, giveaway line on the other side. And we're coming up and we're, and we'll be told to just park straight ahead. There's an instructor on the right going to see if his candidate has passed. I think she did, or he did. And uh, we're just parking up in this space. And that's, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. When you're ready, uh, just turn off, uh, secure the car and turn off the engine, please. Now that's me walking up from behind. And I'm thinking, oh, I hope my candidate passed. I really do. And I'm just coming up to the door. The candidates open the door and the examiners 
said now they normally tell you straight away but the, the examiner said oh you've got a couple of faults and this is what they were and one of them was that the candidate um, when they parked up on the left at some point they could have been closer to the curb um, and there was another fault and I can't remember what it was but I didn't see it on the video it might have been something to do with country lanes I'm not 100% sure what the other fault was but the candidate did really well and then the uh, the examiner said well and oh and I should say you've passed so congratulations and my candidate was very very happy and a uh, big smile on the candidate's face and they did a good drive we saw the drive and it was all good wasn't it nothing really bad happened there so if you like the video I would really appreciate um, a like and uh, maybe even subscribe to my channel and I'll be encouraged to do even more videos so sometimes I do lessons as well where we record lessons um, but I would really appreciate um, a like and even if you could subscribe that would be brilliant and you won't miss oh press the bell thing and um, you won't miss any future videos that I might be putting out in the future um, so this video is commissioned really because the candidate asked me specifically can you put my uh, test route this was before we knew whether the candidate would pass or fail can you put my test route on your channel and i said yes we can and hence here it is and the candidate passed so it's all a positive video in the end um, if you have any questions about the test or about driving in general, please ask in the comments. I always answer those kind of questions. I try and make a response to most comments that warrant a response. Um, and i uh, see you on the next one, guys. Thank you very much. Have a great day.